From starring in terrible films to being a wannabe Kardashian, here's why everyone hates Sylvester Stallone's daughter, Sistine. Sistine Stallone is a terrible actress. Being the daughter of Sylvester Stallone, I'm sure you'd expect Sistine to be a good actress. But that's certainly not the case. The 24-year-old actress made her acting debut in the movie 47 Meters Down Uncaged. She played the role of Nicole, a teenager who sneaks off to go cave diving with a group of high school friends. The movie also starred Sophie Nalis, Brianne Jew, and Corin Fox. Sistine revealed to Variety that she had never even thought about following in her father's footsteps and becoming an actress before she auditioned for the 47 Meter Down sequel. And fans really think that she should have stayed with that. Her mom helped her audition for her debut feature, and maybe she should have called her dad instead because acting is definitely more of his thing. If Sistine thinks her acting in the movie was believable, she definitely needs to go back to acting school. Before pursuing acting, Sistine was on the path to becoming a model, just like her mother, Jennifer Flavin. She worked with big agencies such as IMG Models, did photo shoots for magazines such as Elle and Glamour, and even walked the runway for high-end brands such as Chanel and Dolce & Gabbana. You can say that modeling was her cup of tea, and acting definitely isn't. But let's not forget that she was only landing these big modeling deals because of her rich and famous dad. Yeah, her dad played a big role in helping her build a career, but still, the Emmy-nominated actor couldn't get his daughter good scripts. And that's another reason why fans don't like her. Let's talk about it. All of Sistine's movies have bad reviews. Let's start with 47 Meters Down Uncaged. The movie was very hyped, all thanks to its predecessor. But the sequel didn't do half as well. People called out the movie for having a boring storyline. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 45% score on the tomato meter. And we all know that's not a good score. To make things worse for the star, her character Nicole was the most hated character in the movie. People who were already disappointed by the movie took all their anger out by hating Sistine. Fans said that the CGI of the movie was terrible. The acting was mediocre, so definitely not a good start for the actress. Well, her second movie was even worse. The actress starred in the 2021 crime thriller Midnight in the Switchgrass. This movie had a star-studded cast with big names such as Megan Fox, Machine Gun Kelly, Bruce Willis, and of course, Sistine. Even this cast couldn't stop the movie from getting an 8% score on the tomato meter. The critics called the movie dull and predictable. If we talk about Sistine, the only thing good about her in the movie was her appearance on the red carpet. Her acting in the movie was so stiff, I think she needs to use her daddy's money and go to a good acting school. Columbia University's got a good program, Sistine. I mean, her dad's all that in Hollywood, so you'd expect him to at least get his daughter good scripts. Fans might like her a little more if she did good movies. But till then, the grass isn't green for her in the acting field. We all saw the next reason on my list why fans hate her coming. Yep, it's nepotism. Sistine's a nepo baby, and no one likes a nepo baby. Sylvester Stallone has starred in big movies such as Creed and The Escape Plan. He's won multiple awards throughout his career. His wife Jennifer Flavin is also a popular actress and model. So this makes their three daughters, Sistine, Sophia, and Scarlett, Nepo babies. Sophia Rose isn't in the public eye as much, as acting isn't really her thing. Scarlett has done a couple of movies, but nothing much. Sistine's the one who's in the media eye the most, and that's not going great for her. So I'm guessing the other sisters are staying away. Being a Nepo baby comes with a lot of perks, but it also comes with a lot of hate. It's easy to get opportunities, but it's also easy to get hated on if he don't do good. That's exactly what happened with Sistine. Her dad gave her chances, and yeah, he didn't get her the best scripts. But even her performances in these movies weren't good. This had fans thinking some more deserving actress could have played the part, and could have done a lot better than Sistine. Don't get me wrong, there are quite a few successful Nepo babies out there who found a way to exist without their parents' name. Miley Cyrus, daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus, Dakota Johnson, daughter of Melanie Griffin and Don Johnson, to name a few. 
Sistine, on the other hand, is failing miserably. Maybe she just wasn't made for acting and needs to stop asking her dad to get her scripts. I mean, she could always put that degree in communications to work that she got from the University of Southern California. Another reason why fans hate her is one that fans love the Kardashians for. Too much drama. Fans usually love drama, but when it comes to Sistine, they don't. Let's go over her parents' messy divorce. Jennifer Flavin filed for divorce from her husband, and it turns out that the divorce was very messy. Sistine called out her dad for not acknowledging her sister Sophia's birthday by commenting on his Instagram. The comment was later deleted and he made a post wishing his daughter a happy birthday. The news made rounds on the internet, but no one was interested. Yeah, no one cared. It seemed like the sisters sided with their mother after the divorce for whatever reason. A user replied to Sistine's comment on her dad's post and said, Hey, private messages exist. The entire world doesn't want to know about this. Another called out Sistine for seeking attention after her relations with her father deteriorated since he was the reason she got attention in the first place. Ouch! She's called a wannabe Kardashian already, and if this wasn't enough, the Stallone family just announced another family project. Spoiler, no one's interested in it either. Sistine Stallone to star in a reality TV show with family. This show will give fans an exclusive look inside the life of the Oscar nominee and his family. But hey, here's a slight issue. No one wants an exclusive look, and people have made it very clear when they took to social media. Almost all the comments under the announcement post said, no, just no. While a user commented, these rich actors need to understand that we really don't care about their family drama and they need to stop coming up with these shows. A lot of people agreed. Another said, what a waste of wealth and access. And honestly, that's so true. Even this wasn't enough, as someone also commented, Rocky may be my favorite movie of all time, but Stallone hasn't done anything decent in decades. I couldn't be less interested in a reality show about his family. Well, the show is already in production, and I'll just give a warning to all the sisters, especially Sistine. If she acts like a brat in the show, it'll be an issue because people already don't like her very much. They hate her. The Family Stallone will be an eight-part series that will air on Paramount Plus sometime this spring. Maybe by some miracle, people will start liking Sistine after the show, which again, if they watch it. Well, those were all the reasons why everyone hates Sistine Stallone. See you in the next video.